So I started at the beginning. What is a crypto chart? What is a, a any kind of chart, right? And a, a chart in itself is just a pattern of human behavior. And then the question is, what contributes to that human behavior? So as best I can, I try to figure out what the answer to that is and then apply it towards whatever the algorithm says. And it depends on which one you use. Uh, there's a there's a couple of, you know, principles that you operate under. Um, yeah. If the 50 day crosses over the 200 day, then that's a bullish indicator, but it's also a lagging indicator. So you know, what you're looking for is you're looking for both of them to be going upwards and you're looking for them to be merging towards a crossover. You know, that's your bullish indicator. Yeah. And, you know, first thing you notice is the crossover and that's the golden cross. But there's way more to it than that. And then, of course, there's time frames. So, you know, you could have a bullish chart on the three minute and the five minute and you could have a completely bearish chart, not completely, but mostly bearish chart on the one hour. And then on the four hour, it looks like it's getting ready to dump. So, you know, it's, it's just yeah. reading each one of those and trying to get an idea of what's going to happen. And then, you know, the, the reason I got the reason I was lucky with Bitcoin was, you know, the beginning of this year, there was a move and it started pumping and it dumped and it hit this kind of trend line. And then I wrote I put down a trend line and then I said, well, you know, if it follows this cycle, then it'll probably do this again. 